hello guys so in this video we are going to cover about list view so we will be creating different type of list views first of all we will create a static list view so let's remove this text widget and simply use list view constructor and here you need to use children and inside the children you can pass whatever you want as an element of your list view so let's simply use a container here just to make it a basic one and you can give it some height let's say 100 and you can give some width let's give it 100 give it some color plus dot let's say green and you can add some child as well so let's use a child let's say and once it is done what we are missing here so basically we should not use const here since we are using the list view which is not of const type and you can add that const over here in front of text so once i save it you can see you got one item in a list view so i just change this color to yellow and just to make it a center i just wrap this text widget with a center widget so here you go and you need to cut this const and paste it before the center just save it so if you want you can just decrease the height just save it okay so same way you need to manually define all the elements in case of static list view and let's give it sham i just copy this and rewrite same code again and again so i just change from ram sham sita geeta tina and meena so i just save it so you got these many elements so basically this is a scrollable list you can see so this list view by default is consuming the whole space so if you want it to consume only the required space then there is one property of list view that is shrink wrap just make it true so once you pass this true to list view then you can see this list view is consuming only that much space whatever content it is holding okay now another way is i just uh, change the orientation of this phone to show you that it is a scrollable list so i just scroll up and down let's add one more element so that you can see it is scrollable i just copy this mina to let's give it Hina and save and you can see i'm scrolling it is working so let's take it back so once we have done this there is another way sometimes we want to display the list view in different direction like it is coming up and down we want to display it left to right so for that there is another property of list view that is scroll direction which is taking axis so axis class provides some constants like horizontal and vertical so by default it is vertical if you use horizontal you can see the orientation has been changed okay and if you're using it with the horizontal you must have to specify this list view inside a container let's wrap it into some container who should have some specific height let's give it some height of 100 and since we are using a container without color we should not use this we should use size box just save it and you can see now it is scrollable so instead of showing this text you can either show it uh, images and some ads or something else as well okay so uh, another way we already have uh, a predefined widget named that is named list type so this widget you can use which is predefined by a material and you can use the title here and you can pass this widget over here 
since everything is static just use this const and since we have changed the orientation let's close this and make it back to vertical which is by default so i just comment it and i just quickly restart it and uh, all done so you can see the first and one more thing here since we have defined the height so i just remove this sized box so that i can consume much space let's remove save it and you can see this is a list view whose first item is coming from this list type same way you can use other as well like sham and you can remove this so if you have this kind of data then you should use this predefined list view like you can add some icon as well but if you have some tina if you have some other kind of data like you want to display some image or other widget then you can uh, take a container and customize it accordingly okay so that was about a static list view now we will be going with the dynamic list view so dynamic list view is most of the time useful like we are getting data from some uh, database or an api or something else so for creating that list view let's define our data first so i just create a final list of string type that is names equal to i just give some names here let's say ram ram tina meena Pooja, Tina, Jaya, Dia, semicolon, and done. So, since uh, we are not using now constant, so we are using some other variables as well. So, let's save it with this. Now, I just remove all this thing from here to the last and this child would be a dynamic list view and to create a dynamic list view we have to use list view dot builder and i just put semicolon over here so this will take a item builder which is basically a function that is passing to arguments context and index so i just use this one you can use a arrow function as well that's all we can use comma now you can see we are still facing some error that means we have to pass some other values to the list view builder instead of using item builder so there is another that is item count so that is number of items you want to display so which we are getting from names dot length so once you have done with this and this We can use comma here and we were missing this scaffolds that's all so just save it now and you can see again you have this dynamic list now you don't need to modify this you can add number of entries I just copy this and paste it and you can see your list view is working fine so this is uh, another variation for dynamic list view and one more approach is there let's say if you want a little uh, bar between each item so that you can differentiate with the line so for that instead of using this builder we use separated so everything will remain same instead of using builder we need to use separated and there is one additional data we need to pass that is separated builder so this builder is again taking one function that is context and index and from here you need to basically return the separator so for that we already have a divider 
since the divider is a constant let's add const in front of it and just save it and you will be able to see a line between each item of the list view so you might not be able to see here this is because of uh, i'm using emulator once you use it on your mobile you will be able to see it properly and if you want to change the color of that divider we have some properties like color you can explore that let's say i just give it blue so just to match with the theme so this might not look good but uh, you can explore it whatever you want so that's all for this video if you have any doubt or question do comment in the comment section thank you